Jacob, you got to ask about that. How's your chemistry with Leah week two now? Uh, the chemistry been there. It just, you know, you just got to be ready for your, uh, when, your, uh, when your number calls. And today was my number. And I made mean, what happened with what, what, what was best for the team. So a relief for you just ha after having your kind of quiet opener to come out and, and just go in really quickly early? You say, say it again? Was it a relief for you after kind of having a somewhat quiet opener in terms of production to come out and immediately score and have some big catches? Uh, yeah, I really didn't know what to expect because I didn't know if it was going to rain or not for real. So it was like, I didn't know we were going to throw the ball or not today because that's what they were saying. They were in between. So I was like, whatever happens today, you got to look forward to it and be, be ready for it. And, all of a sudden, uh, like they called my number and the plays were there, and I had to make the play that was there for. What impressed you the most with Talia? Uh, he never give up, no matter what. Like he can get down in the slump, like he never gonna give up on his teammates. Like he gonna come over there, like if he feeling bad about something, he gonna come over there and make sure everybody else in, in good hands. That's what I like about him. He's a better player. It seems like there weren't many slumps for Talia today, especially oh, yeah. in the first half. Like, what is he? What's he like when he kind of gets into that? Uh, today, you know, he, he a different animal, man. He he his own animal, put it that way. Like when he get in his mode and he feeling good about the situation or, or the game or whatever situation he in, he gonna make the best of him and he gonna continue with that. That's what I that what I picked up and learned from since I've been here. And everything been here since I've been here, been good vibes with. Him. There was a play after you scored the two touchdowns where you lined up on the right side, it looked like you were gonna go out of the game, and then you got waved off and he came on the field. Leah got under pressure. You crossed the entire field and made a play. Were you actually supposed to be in the game at that point? You, yeah, you, most definitely. I was supposed to be in the game at first. Mm -hmm. It was like, because uh, we, we rotated or whatever, so it was yeah. like, uh, I didn't know if they were going to bring us out or mm -hmm. boom, or whatever. But at that time, I was supposed to be in the game. So, and I looked and seen mm -hmm. when the ball was hiked or whatever, and I looked and seen Leah rolling out or whatever, and I was like, okay, I know he was, was going to go down. So I had to make, get myself open and adjust okay. to the ball. Well, that I, ball Watching this game, that was the most impressive. You beat those guys and you scored the touchdowns, but but that play really showed how much you were locked in. Oh yeah, most definitely. I know, like I said before, uh, I know I can't get frustrated at no time. Like as I play ball a long time now, it's like every week ain't gonna be your, ain't gonna be your call or your number. And I seen today it was my call, my number, and I felt real confident about everything. And, that, and my teammates felt confident uh, in me too. So I felt like I couldn't let them down, and they were not gonna let me down of that. Last week, you guys kind of struggled a little bit to string together momentum. How important was it to score touchdowns on your first five drives and then eight out of ten drives today? Uh, Coach Locks, I always say, uh, like he say, sometimes like we start off slow or whatever, but uh, once we pick it up, we're going to keep rolling. Like That's that's for sure that I know. Like once we get to, get in the rhythm of the game, everything else is going to play out play out itself. So I felt good. Everything else, like the team felt good. As we kept Elevane going forward with uh, the offense, I felt like it could have went – more and more, but you know, they things would calm it down a little bit. You've mentioned a couple times about today, you know, team calling on you. At, at what point during the game do you know that, you know, it's your day, you're going to get a lot of targets, or is it even before the game that you know it's your day? Uh, actually, uh, I want to say when it was like uh, we were doing tempo, tempo offense, and I seen we lived through the first play to me, I was like, okay, uh, I don't know if we're going to go to the next tempo, so you got to be locked in. And everything know, when I, said, when I heard the play, I was. Reading the defense, I say I wonder what what type of defense they're gonna be in. And once I seen it, it was just like, okay, the ball is on this way. Good. They set back so so it was, it was perfect perfect time. Everyone good. Thanks, Bill.